Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the life and times of Crazy Patrick. Uh, I wanted to give you a shot of what I've accomplished so far. All those trees and everything you see in there in the lake, it's just blocked in. It's not nowhere near done. Uh, I'm going to have a bunch of rocks. Uh, trees are going to have a whole lot of detail. There's going to be some aspen trees in there. Hopefully you can see that sky. I don't like that cloud. That's got to change. Uh, a lot of people would think that uh, this is a wasted canvas, but it's really not a wasted canvas. This is what I'm learning on to teach myself how to use these acrylics. The acrylics are so much different than oils. And the first thing I found with the acrylics was that they dry way, way too fast. So uh, I found, I did some research, and, and you need to mix a retarder with the paint to slow down the drying time. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. This is what I found, and it's working pretty good. Uh, I can slow down the drying time so I can manipulate the colors a little different better. Then I wanted to show you my setup here a little bit in case y'all want to get uh, uh, involved in this and learn how to how to paint with acrylics because you never know you could be a natural, you know. This painting is a waste, really. It's just, it's never going to be sellable. But I get to play with stuff and see how it's going to work, you know, and, and experiment on this canvas. Canvas is not that expensive. Now, if you can see here, my I have a light up here. Uh, this is my easel. I got that at uh, at uh, Hobby Lobby for it was about thirteen fourteen dollars. Uh, you're gonna need a bunch of different brushes, so I would recommend don't buy a whole bunch of expensive brushes. Uh, Hobby Lobby they have um, they have like packages of have different brushes in it uh, then over here this is one that you're going to need a lot it's a it's a four inch uh, you can uh, just a paintbrush you can get that at any any goddamn paint department at any store uh, this is one I got at Hobby Lobby it's goat hair and you're going to use that for blending a lot of stuff. It's very, very soft. And then I have another goat hair in here. Where are you? Uh, here's another goat hair I have. Uh, this is good for blending. It's kind of a round brush. Uh, you're going to want a little bottle, spray bottle of water. This works great. Uh, I've got this can that just has pure water in it if I want to thin my paint down a little bit acrylics are water based so you can use that then I have this big old Folgers thing here that's got water in it I use just to clean my brushes you're gonna need a big roll of paper towels you're gonna use those uh, I got this also at Hobby Lobby a whole package of palette uh, uh, palette knives. One this shape is really handy. You're going to use it for making uh, like uh, snow cap mountains. This is a very good shape for that. If you can find one in metal, grab it. But I got a whole package of different sizes of uh, palette knives. They're all different sizes. Then uh, if you can find a local uh, art store, uh, I have one here in town that has a couple buckets of used stuff uh, that you can pick up for like 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. 
this is a pallet knife I picked up from that. Uh, uh, you're going to, in, in your uh, bunch of brushes, you're going to use a one inch flat, bunch of smaller flats. Uh, you're going to need some round tips. Uh, and then I just bought that uh, brush holder. It, it was, a, I don't know, three or four dollars and it takes about a minute to put together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this now and then I'll, uh, I'll be back in a second. But anyway, folks, I just wanted to check in with you, show you what I've got going. And, and uh, I have to really figure out, I don't, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to set up my camera so you'll be able to see me mixing paint and, and how I'm applying the paint to the canvas. Uh, a lot of people would think this is just a wasted canvas. It's not. Uh, it's a learning canvas. And uh, I'm finding out how hard it is to uh, teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> but I'm learning. It's taking a little time. But I'm working on it little by little. The, the main thing when you start this is do not quit. Uh, quitters never accomplish anything. The people that stay with it are the ones that become the masters. And... Uh, that's all you have to do is when you get aggravated and you will because you'll try to start doing something and you'll work on it work on it and it just isn't coming out the way you have it in your head uh, you're you're gonna want to quit well you don't quit you just take a break walk away from it just leave it alone and uh, you, you, some people you might be able to walk away an hour or two might be a day or two so uh, just don't worry about that. Just stay with it. Don't quit. Don't be a quitter. Uh, if you're interested in learning this, uh, leave me some comments. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, share, like, uh, leave some thumbs up, leave comments. Uh, I'm going to try to get this so you set up so that I can work with you and show you how I mix the paint, how I apply it with the different brushes. Every brush is a different tool. It's just like a mechanic's toolbox. Uh, every wrench in there has a different purpose. Well, you'll find out every brush has a different purpose. And mixing your colors, if you're new to this, you may have to get yourself a color wheel because uh, like blue and yellow make green. <laughs> Uh, red and yellow make salmon and you're going to use a whole lot of white uh, titanium white uh, because those uh, you're going to tone down everything with the white uh, make it lighter make it uh, if you need darker uh, you know then you can take like your greens and your browns and you can make them darker for like pine trees and I'll show you some tricks of making like uh, aspen tree, the trunks, where they look round. And it's all just a, a trick, a shading. Most of the stuff you'll find with painting is you're creating an illusion. Uh, like water is clear. If you pick up a, a, a glass of water, it's clear, right? But if you look at a lake, it's a whole bunch of different colors because it's just reflecting what's around it and what's above it. So you're going to learn how to put in those reflections into the water. You're going to learn how to manipulate and, and uh, create the illusions that uh, uh, create depth. Uh, you'll see people on uh, YouTube that they, they just kind of willy-nilly the skies in, but that's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to start with your sky. Your clouds, work it down to the horizon that you've determined where you want your horizon to be. If you're gonna put mountains in, far away mountains, snow-capped mountains, you, then your next thing is you're gonna to wanna to put all those in. And you just keep working forward to, to create depth. Your uh, 
if you look in this over here at this painting right here, you'll see these trees in the back are a lot lighter than the ones in the front. It, it creates depth. You, you need to you need to take a flat piece of paper and make it look like it's 40 miles deep, and and it's all an illusion and just manipulating the paint. So I hope you all stick with me with this and uh, I hope uh, if, you, if you have any friends that might be interested in this, share with them, let them know. And uh, I'm gonna do my best to try to figure out how to film all this so that uh, we can uh, uh, work together on stuff. Another thing I wanted to ask you all I know a lot of you, you take pictures with your phone when you're out and about in the wilderness and, and a lot of you nomads and, and some of you just have some of those postcard perfect pictures. In the description of my video you will always find my email. So if you could attach those pic postcard perfect pictures to an email to me, uh, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take those pictures, I'll save them, and then I'll go to Walmart and have them printed so I can hang them up on my easel and we'll try to duplicate some of those onto a canvas and see how close we get. And we can work together with that stuff. And uh, if you want me to mention your name with who sent the photo, give me permission in my email to do that and uh, we'll, we'll go with that. But I really, really appreciate y'all hanging with me. Uh, this is a brand new endeavor. I'm probably gonna start a whole new channel just for painting with Patrick. But uh, right now, uh, you know, I've had a few responses that people are interested. And so if any of y'all are, are interested, let me know in the comments and send me those pictures to my email if you have those postcard perfect pictures and uh, we'll go from there uh, once we get going these paintings are are going to be uh, you know if i get monetized and uh, I'll, I'll start uh, doing some contests and stuff giving away the paintings and uh, and we'll work together on this and see if we can build us up a new channel and you can help me okay you can help me a lot and you know I have this rare form of cancer it's slow growing I don't know how long I'm gonna be here four five six years uh, I was told five or more years when I first found out about this and that was a year and a half ago uh, I can feel it kind of eating away at me and make me make me more tired more tired but uh, on the positive note we'll uh, uh, just keep plugging away and uh, I want to say hi to Rusty78609 I want to say hi to RV living with the geezer hey uh, the geezer just lost his best friend he had Blanca his his dog for I don't know a long time 15 16 maybe more years was his best friend and uh, and she finally just got old and had a stroke and he had to put her down so if y'all would uh, look up uh, RV living with the geezers channel and give him, and send him some condolences I would appreciate that uh, check out uh, two rebels off grid uh, They've got a great channel and they're great folks. Uh, check out uh, G Bears Off Grid, Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Check that out. Uh, uh, Deborah Dickinson's hi, Deborah. Hope everything's going good with you. Frugal RV gal, hello, Frugal. Hope everything's good with you. I know you've been in some beautiful places fishing. And you should be able to send me a lot of nice pictures. So send those to me, Frugal, if you can. And, uh, oh, who else? My God. Box Band D, uh, she's having some hard times now uh, living in Quartzite because she, she's not unable to travel now. And 
the heat and our air conditioning and everything's been giving her fits. So check her channel out and help her out any way you can. And uh, I just want to tell everybody, you know, I'm still here. I'm still plugging away. And uh, this may be a little different than what you're used to seeing. But hopefully it'll keep you entertained, you know. I'm still going to do some cooking videos, camping videos, RV videos. But I'm probably going to start a new channel for uh, Painting with Patrick. But we'll see how it goes. And uh, y'all uh, have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Send me an email. All right. I, in the description, I'll also leave my mailing address in case y'all want to mail me anything, pictures, anything. You can do that also. And uh, I would appreciate that because I can take a picture and I can hang it up here on my on my easel. I can look at the picture and duplicate it down here and have all the right colors so I can mix my colors to match what's in the what's in the picture. And uh, and so, so uh, I'm looking forward to y'all helping me out with that. So uh, with that, I'm gonna let y'all go now and. Uh, tell you to have a great rest of your evening and uh, stay positive and uh, God bless.